Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, Abir's Book Reviews, and today I'll be reviewing this book, Shades of Blue by Harini Nagendra and Seema Mundoli. So, the subtitle of the book is Connecting the Drops in India's Cities. This book talks about India and the various water bodies which are inside and surround India, such as the Indian Ocean, the various rivers, and how they have transformed over time. So it's, it's um, it basically goes through each, uh, a lot of cities, a lot of uh, different rivers, and what has been their traditional role in the past and in the Indian society, and how that role has evolved over time, going from the prehistoric days to the uh, modern times, and covering everything in between, such as the Indian independence movement, the uh, time of the various Indian, uh, the dynasties which ruled India, and then uh, the Mughal period in India. It covers everything, and it talks about how the rivers have developed over this period of time. <clears throat> it talks about not on, uh, not only um, you know the most obvious thing, which is that they are now very polluted, but also how they have uh, shaped uh, trade, maritime trade, how. Uh, traditionally, boats would uh, traverse these waterways to supply goods from one place to another, and how uh, you know these waterways have evolved. Uh, another thing which is talked about is <coughs> uh, the sanitation levels. So it is different from pollution. So there's the part about pollution. There's the part about sanitation and <coughs> how waterborne in illnesses are now more prevalent in a lot of water bodies as a result of the pollution. Um, it talks about why the rivers got polluted in the first place, what were uh, the uh, factors leading up to it, such as certain policy changes by the government uh, and, you know, migration patterns of Indian people, uh, the change in consumer behavior. People now, you know, use a lot of chemicals and same goes for irrigation and agriculture there are a lot of pesticides in <clears throat> in the crops now so that pollutes the groundwater the clean groundwater in india uh, so yeah this book basically talks about all of that and how it has changed over time and <clears throat> uh, basically what were the causes leading up to these changes and how it is affecting us in the modern times like uh, right now it says that traditionally uh, you know, civilizations would be built up around rivers because they, uh, because of the proximity to close, uh, to clean drinking water, access to water for irrigation, for uh, cleaning stuff. But nowadays, the rivers are so polluted that people are going away from them. They do not want to live anywhere near them. And it talks about how, you know, the government has made uh, significant progress in improving the pollution levels in cleanliness. But we are far from perfect. There is still a lot of dirt and filth in the Indian rivers and how it should be cleaned up to not only provide a, you know, a reliable and sustainable access to clean drinking water, not only for us, but for all uh, the future generations as well. And yeah, this book, this book is not very heavy on a lot of subjects. It just glances over, uh, you know, a lot of things really quickly it's very easy to read and each chapter is not just about rivers rivers water it also you know gives a lot of anecdotal evidence about things you know it gets it, it takes excerpts from historical texts uh, you know mythological stories folklore so yeah it's pretty well balanced in terms of writing you don't get bored reading this book very easily and another thing is that when it talks about the, you know, government policy changes and how they might have positively or negatively affected the Indian rivers, it is, um, it does not take a particular side. So it does not uh, force upon you that this uh, particular government's policies were bad for the Indian rivers and this particular government's policies are good for the Indian rivers. No. It's very neutral. It's not biased at all. Another thing which I like about the writing of this book. So yeah, this is a very light read. 
you know, you pick this up on a Sunday afternoon, you read it, you get done with it. You walk away with uh, some knowledge about Indian rivers and and water bodies. But apart from that, there's uh, it might give you some things to think about in terms of pollution and controlling the said pollution. So yeah, apart from that, it's a pretty good book. I would recommend, you know, if you have any sort of interest in history or basically non-fiction of any kind, you can pick this book up and it's going to be a pretty easy read for you and you're going to enjoy it. So that has been the review. Thanks for watching. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you hit the like button. If you're new and haven't already done so, subscribe to the channel to keep receiving more videos like this one. I have been Abir Rao and thanks for watching.